What is good, everybody? Today we are ranking more WWE action figures, and today we have a stud muffin. We have a stud muffin. We have one of the guys that Mattel loves to pump out, man. We're talking about the one and only brother. We're talking about Hulk Hogan, man. Hulk Hogan. This was nominated by our Patreon backers on Patreon. Huge shout out to those fellas over there. I appreciate all of their support. If you guys would like to vote on these things, become an extreme member or higher, you can vote on the next ranking. And Hulk Hogan did win the vote. He's been in the voting for a long time, so I don't know... How many people really want to see this video? Maybe you wanted to see this video, but I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll get into it, man. But today, we're going to rank every Hulk Hogan WWE Elite and Ultimate Edition figure from Mattel in their entire history. We're going to break down the entire lore here, and we're going to put them into this ranking system. There are a lot. There are a lot of Hulk Hogans, man. It's kind of unbelievable how many damn Hulk Hogans there is, really. But nonetheless, man, we're going to shut the hell up. We're going to dive into the criteria for the ranking, and then we will dive into the ranking itself. But over here on my left, you will see, it may be my right, actually, that you're seeing this, but... Nonetheless, it says go buy it at the top. If I put a figure at the top in the go buy it section, it means you need to add it to your collection. It's worthy of your collection. You need to add it in there. It's that damn good. It feels that good in the hand. It is a great representation of Hulk Hogan. You need to have that. If I put it in the good figure section, that means that I would understand if it was in your collection, but it's not must have. It's not the cream of the crop. It's not the top of the top. I would understand it. It is solid. It is good, but I don't think it's 100% must have. Below that, we have meh. And in meh, that pretty much means that it's it's not good, it's not bad, it's just like middle of the road. It's like, okay, you know what, whatever, if you want it in there, fine, if you don't, uh, who? nobody gives a shish. Below that, we have barely acceptable, which really means that there's one quality about the figure keeping it from the lowest tier. So maybe it's a head sculpt, maybe it's something about it that I like about the figure keeping it from the garbage. And for me, that is going to be in the barely acceptable. And then at the very bottom, we have garbage. And if you're in the garbage, man, it means that you, you should totally avoid the figure. Don't even look at the figure. Don't even try to go after it. Not worth it. It's complete garbage. Skip over it. Get it the hell out of my face. Throw it the hell out in the yard. Nonetheless, with all that being said, we're starting off with our first figure. We have the Greatest Hits Ultimate Edition re-release of the Hollywood Hulk Hogan. This is a go buy it. This is a go buy it. The first go around was damn good. And it was one of the better Hulk Hogans that you'll ever find. But... Now that they've repainted the skin tone, made it even better. Chef's Kiss, one of the best Hulk, Hulk Hogan's I've ever made. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people say that maybe their favorite Hulk Hogan figure ever. I mean, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. Don't don't doubt me. I've seen it. So there's that. It's real cut and dry, real simple right there. Next up, we have the Monday Night Wars Hulk Hogan. Now this is the first figure that introduced the new torso for Hulk Hogan. It is pretty plain Jane. It's a different take, but I low key like it. You know what I'm saying? I think I like this figure a lot. Like I I do like it. But we have a lot of Hulk Hogan's. Is it go buy it worthy? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going to put it in good figure for now. I really do like the head sculpt. I like the torso choice. I like those things. I'm going to put it in good figure. I don't think it's absolute 100% must have. So I'm going to put it in good figure for now. Next up is Elite 91 Hulk Hogan. This one is meh at best. Honestly, should be in barely acceptable. I'm very tempted, but you do get a slew of accessories. You know, he's got the skinny torso. He's got the wrong tan. Oh man, you know what? I don't know. You know what? I'm... I'm going to leave it in meh. I'm going to leave it in meh. I'm going to leave it in meh. We'll see what comes of it, but I am going to put him in meh right there. Next up is Elite 34 Hulk Hogan, which I deem the chilling out at the con, about to sign autographs Hulk Hogan. This one's meh. I don't, you don't need this. I don't think that there's really a, like it's, oh, like if you add it to your collection, sure, but I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even do it, man. It's chilling out at the con Hulk Hogan. It's not must have. It's not a bad figure per se, but I don't think it's, it's not anything that's going to shatter the stratosphere of your collection. I don't think it's... You don't need to go way out of pocket to try and capture this figure's what I'm trying to say, but Elite 34 Hogan, it is what it is, Brad. Next up, we have the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan, aka it could be WrestleMania 9 Hulk Hogan. It's not a bad figure. This is a really good figure. This is either a go buy it or a good figure. I am going to put it in good figure, and it is really damn good, but there are many like it, and we'll get into that. We'll talk about that. I'm going to put it in good figure for now. It's, it, I don't know. I struggle with the head sculpts on that one. I don't know. It's not, it's not a bad figure. I do like the wristbands. There's good things about it, but I'm going to put it in good figure for now. Next up is the Then Now Forever Together set with the, you know, the American Made shirt. Now, you do have to buy this in a four pack. You could probably get this figure really, really cheap, actually. If you buy it on the aftermarket, I guarantee you could probably get it for a really cheap price, to be honest with you. Do you need. 
I think I'm going to be putting this in good figure. And the reason I put it in good figure is because Hulk Hogan, you know, in this day and age where they have the right skin tone, they have, they have really good head sculpts, they have these cool accessories, they're very good Hogans. I would understand why you'd want to add them to the collection. They feel really good in hand, so I would really, truly understand why you would put that in your collection. So I'm going to put it in good figure for now. Next up is the Hall of Fame Elite Hulk Hogan. This one's barely acceptable. I don't know, man. It, I, you know what? Yeah, it's barely acceptable. It's barely acceptable because I think that, you know, uh, we do have a figure coming later that's very similar, and it was very early on. It, it, and you know, you have to kind of judge it based on like this stage. At this stage in our collecting game with Mattel, I just don't think it's necessary. It's just not needed, I don't think. So I'm going to put it in barely acceptable for now. At the time, maybe higher on the list. Like the weight belt's wrong. It comes with a rubber, a rubber shirt. The skin tone's wrong. The torso never really worked, even though they gave it to him. There's a lot of things there. I don't know. You can let me know, but. I'm putting it in barely acceptable, man. We're moving on to the Ultimate Edition 13 Hogan. This is go buy it every day of the week. One of the best Hulk Hogan figures that you'll find ever. Absolutely ever. So good. Great likeness in the head sculpt. Great accessories. Great championship. Feels good in the hand. Phenomenal Ultimate Edition. One of the better Ultimate Editions you'll find from Mattel and WWE. One of the best Hulk Hogan action figures ever made. That is a really damn good figure. You need to go buy that right now. Next up, we have Elite 96 Hulk Hogan. And I'm going to put this in good figure as well. I don't think that it... You know, there's a lot of figures that are very similar to this in a lot of ways, man. There's a lot of... And that's why... Like, the American Made and this one are very similar. The head sculpt's different. You get a little bit of different accessories. But I don't... You know what I mean? You just kind of have to play... I do like the head sculpt, I think, better than the American Made. Maybe... Maybe, I don't know. That's tough to say. Those are, you could flip these anytime you want, really. It's kind of difficult. But the Elite 96 Hogan's still a good figure. It's just, there's so many Hogan's like it. You've already seen, we have a shish ton of figures left, and we already have four Hulk Hogan's in yellow boots, yellow trunks, red knee pads. So, I mean, that just kind of tells you right there. But that's a good figure. I like it. It's just, you know, I, I don't think it's must-have. Again, I don't think it's must-have. So, next up, we have Ringside Exclusive Wolfpack Hulk Hogan. This is another good figure right here. It's a solid one, you know. I I think that if it had the right skin tone, the right torso, it would be probably going and go buy it. But again, these figures, they, you know, they waited. We got all these Hogans before we got them accurate, right? So, like, the torso could be changed. The skin tone could be changed. There's different things here. I still like the figure a lot, and I'd understand if it was in your collection, but I don't think it's the must-have, you know, the must-have of the must-have. And they're pro I can guarantee you they're probably going to put that guy in the vault here in a year or two, and I guarantee he's going to have the updated skin tone and the right torso and all those different bells and whistles. And that's when you'll go buy it. You know what I mean? So there's that. Next up, we have the Mr. America Regular Edition and Chase. And I almost left these two out for obvious reasons. I know people tell me it's not Hulk Hogan. Well, I think there's enough evidence to say that there is, that it is him. But I almost left these out just for shishes and gigs. But you have the regular edition, you have the chase. I mean, dude, the, the chase is going in meh. The regular edition, I guess, can go in good figure. I mean, they're the exact same figure. There's little deco hits here and there. They're essentially the exact same figure. I, to pick your poison right there, man. I don't want to fill up our good figure here, but it is a good figure, and that's what's trash, is a lot of these would probably be... Like, really, really good, like, go buy it if they had the right torso, they had the right skin tone, but they don't, man, so that is kind of where we fall there. I honestly, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't like him as the chase. I don't think he should have been the chase, to be honest, but I get it. I understand what they were going for. It's just, yeah, don't really care. Next up, we have the WrestleMania 39, WrestleMania 18 Hulk Hogan here. I'm going to put this one in meh. It's same issues as the Mr. America, same issues as the Elite 91. The only reason you should buy this is for the boots, and you put it on the damn Ultimate Edition up there. You know what I mean? That's like the only reason you should buy that. Accessories are all effed. You know, the shirts, the rubber tear away. The belt is the terrible weight belt mold. They still gotta improve that. I know that we got the new one with Cody. Still not good enough. Still not good enough. But there is our Hulk Hogan. Next up we have the legend WCW Hulk Hogan here. Oh man, this skin tone and torso bother the hell out of me. And for that reason, I think I'm gonna put him in meh. And again, man, like the legs are different. Like the formulas for these guys are all over the place and that's really what harms these figures. The formulas are all crooked. The skin tones are all over the place. They're kind of like the rock where they're like jumping back and forth with all these different stuff. But hopefully they do have Hogan right now. I just would put that one meh. I, I don't necessarily care for it. It's basically a re-release of the Hall of Fame. And I know it's better in certain ways. New head sculpt. I know there's different things. Cloth shirt. I know. I get it. I definitely get it, but it's just meh for me. I don't think it's it's not must-have. I wouldn't even put it in the, in the good figure category. Not that it's bad. It's just there are just certain things about it that, I don't know, I just wouldn't buy it until they're, they're going to upgrade it. They're going to update it, and therefore... 
I'm putting him right there. Same thing with Mr. America. Guarantee he's going to get a greatest hits or a re-release of some kind with the updated skin tone and stuff. So it's, I'm just telling you, man. Next up is the Mega Powers. The Mega Powers 2-pack. I'm going to put this one in good figure. You know, it's it's a cool pack. You know, it's a good figure. I don't think it's must-have. Again, it's a, very, it's a moment in time which... You know, certain moments in time, I think, do require you to pick them up. But it is just slightly different trunks. But it's again, it's yellow, red, and yellow, man. It's got the eyes close head sculpt. I understand it. But I don't know. It's just good figure. It's just good figure. I don't think it's must-have, top-of-the-line, best of the best. So I am going to put him right here in good figure, man. God in heaven, there's so many John Brown figures up here. Next up, we have the SummerSlam Elite Hulk Hogan. I like this Desert Storm Hogan so much. I really do. I really do like it. And I like it so much that I want to say go buy it, but at the same time, it's such a moment in time. But it's so unique and good that I love it. I'm going to still put it in good figure, though. I don't think that it's, again, must-have. But it is really damn good. I actually like it a hell of a lot. I'm going to put them all the way up here. I like it a lot, okay? I know that it's not... It's not your mom's Hulk Hogan figure. It's very unique, but it's very cool. It's very badass. I like it a lot. I'm going to put it at the top of good figure. You could put it behind maybe the Monday Night Wars or this Ultimate here, but I'm going to put him in good figure for now. All right, just leave me alone. All right, leave me alone. Next up, this is a figure that I think is really, really good. We have the new Legends Hulk Hogan, and this one's coming not in this next set, but the next. I want to say this is Legends 24 Hulk Hogan, if I'm not mistaken. It's very similar to a lot of the Hulk Hogans you're getting right here, but you do get a new shirt, all right? You do get a new head sculpt that looks really good. Oh, this one's difficult. It's difficult to say right now, but I think, oh my God in heaven, this is tough. I think I'm going to put it and go buy it. I, I really do like this head sculpt. I really do. I like the attire too. I'm going to go with go buy it. I know. Crucify me all you want. It really looked good. It really did look good. I like the head sculpt a hell of a lot. I'm going to put it in go buy it section, all right? I'm going to put it in go buy it section. Next up, we have the Legends Hulk Hogan here with the cape. This is such a damn good figure, but unless you're just the top of the line Hogan collector, I don't think you necessarily need it. And it is really, really good, man. It is a really good figure, but it's just not, like, it's not something that I would personally relate to. And I know a lot of people don't really, I don't, I don't know, it's not what you think of when you think of Hulk Hogan. I know that, you know, Hogan connoisseurs and people that love Hulk Hogan are going to want that figure, and I get it, which is why he's in good figure. Like, I understand it. Just like some of these other things. I get it. I get it. It's a, it's a really good figure. The cape is amazing. It's just, I don't think it's must have go buy it in your collection, so I am going to put it in good figure. You could say the same about that Legends 24, but I don't know, man. I really do like that Legends 24. I think that may be your best standard elite Hulk Hogan in that look right there, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Next up, we have the Legends Ichiban Hogan here. And we have the regular edition and the chase. And I don't know, man. These are just, again, they're they're much like a lot of the Hulk Hogans on this list already that are very moment in time. They're very they're to their own deal that I don't think it's not that it's a bad figure, it's just middle of the road. I'm gonna put it in meh. I'm gonna put both of them in meh, and I just I just don't it's all up to the consumer there, and I'm just giving you my pitch here. It's one of those that it's a cool figure, it's a solid figure. If you're a big Hogan guy, grab it, but it's not that iconic, you know, right there at the top, peak Hulk Hogan. So I would put him right there, and meh. And it's not a bad figure. I actually like that figure. It's just, there's little bitty points separating these things, so I'm trying my best to kind of allocate this. But I would say, out of all these meh figures, they are the best of the meh, so there's that. Next up, we have the... Target exclusive Hogan 3-pack, this is, go buy it. All three of them, very damn good. Very damn good, all three of them. I love all three of those Hulk Hogans. They're very, very strong versions of Hulk Hogan. They look just like the character that pose around well. Great details, great accessories. Chef's kiss, skin tone, torso, head sculpt. They did a fantastic job on that Target exclusive 3-pack. One of the best box sets Mattel's ever done. And I want to say that was revealed to us at Comic-Con last year, so hopefully this year at Comic-Con, we'll get a brand new box set that looks badass. So we'll have to see, man. We'll have to see. But next up, we have have the new Greatest Hits Hulk Hogan figure that should be arriving at my door any day now. And honestly, when I look at this, I mean, this could be this figure right here, and it comes with the championship. So should I? I'm going to put this and go buy it, and I'm going to put this just below in good figure. It is very solid, and it's like, again, it's one of those figures that is, is going to fly off shelves because it's like the the iconic Hogan. It's the iconic Lo Hogan look. It checks all the boxes. It's like title, you know, good head sculpt, all the you know, red and yellow shirt, boom, 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 checks all the boxes, put them in the go buy it. Like, people are going to gravitate towards a figure. It's a good representation of the character. I understand it, man. I totally understand it. Next up, we have the Defining Moments. The Defining Moments is going in meh. At this juncture, 
don't think you need it. You know what I mean? I don't think you need it at this juncture. They've made way better versions of this Hulk Hogan. There's many on the list, and it's the worst of those. So it's like, if you have it, whatever. It's it's not a bad figure. It You know, it is what it is, man. If you want it, you want it. I don't think it's going to shatter the stratosphere. Whatever you want to do there, you pick your poison. It is there for your consumption if you want to do so. Next up is the Survivor Series Elite. And this one I'm going to put in meh too. Just because the head sculpt's not that good. It's just not worth the pickup at this juncture. Again, there's many Hogan's on this list that are very similar. And there's much better options for you. And I think there's there's like four different Hogan's you could pick over this one. So it's like, why, why go after that one when you can... You know what I mean? That's just where it lies with me. So we're going to go with the Survivor Series Elite. We're going to put that one in meh. You know, it has the accurate skin tone and everything. And it comes with some bells and whistles but it's just not worth the pickup in this day and age, I don't think. Next up is American-made ringside exclusive Hulk Hogan. And this one is tough. This one's tough because you have a couple Hogans that are very similar to this, but you don't get that shirt. And I, I don't know. I know the, the skin tone's not perfect or anything, but I don't think this is a bad figure per se. I'm going to put this in good figure. I'm going to put it near the bottom maybe here. It's a solid figure. I, I don't hate that figure right there. I don't hate that figure. I think it's solid. It's solid enough. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that figure. It's not bad. Next up is the Coliseum Collection Hulk Hogan. And I like this one. I'm putting it in Go Buy It. I really like it. I like the white boots. I like the white shirt. I just really like the Coliseum Collection Hogan. I think the, the attire is unique. And it kind of captures, like you're getting some different eras of Hulk Hogan up here in the Go Buy It section. I just think the figure is so good. And so anytime you take that base and, you know, you give it a different attire, it's just so good, man. It's very, very good. And I know it's essentially, that's why these are so difficult. But I try my best, man. I try my best up here. I'm doing my best to try and get all these together here for you. But next up is the original Ultimate Edition with the wrong skin tone. It's a good figure, but I'm going to put it at the top of meh just because I it's just there's no like I I guess it could go in good figure and it is a really good figure but why do that when you can get the greatest hits version and it's so much better it's just like it's meh for now just because of the if they never did the greatest hits release it would be in the go buy it right but since they have that go buy it, that go buy it version I'm gonna put it in meh because why would you do that when you could get the the better version is kind of what I'm trying to say there. But next up, we have the Legends 23, I think, Hulk Hogan with the guitar. I think it's Legends Series 23. And this figure actually looks pretty damn good. I like the skin tone head sculpt. The accessories are sick. He's got a guitar pick hand sculpt. He's got the shirt. He's got the necklace. Very cool figure right here that I kind of low-key want to put in the Go Buy It section. But at the same time... I just, I don't know, do you need this version of Hulk Hogan? I'm going to put it in the good figure section. And again, like now, now we have two rows here. It's going to F up everything possibly. But I don't think we're going to have a garbage Hulk Hogan. I don't think there's a garbage Hulk Hogan figure here. And honestly, yeah, man, I mean, that it's a good figure. It is a good figure. I don't think it's necessarily needed, but it is good. And then last but not least, we have the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Rip. And I'm going to put that and go buy it. And I love the colors on this. The colors on this are fantastic. It looks so good on a shelf. It's like the contrast between the light blue and then the white and everything just looks so clean. You get the world title. And it is very unique, but I I love it. I, I love that figure. And even if you just, you don't use any of the, like it's basically the American made Hogan. You can make an American made Hogan out of that as the base in Ultimate Edition form. I like that figure a hell of a lot. It's very damn good. And I think that would be, I think these are like my top of the top favorite Hulk Hogan's here at the at the top. And I really do love that Desert Storm Hulk Hogan, but I'm not going to put him in the go buy it section for, you know, different reasons. But I think that, I think I like this. I think I like this criteria right here. It, it's difficult, man, because there's so many figures that are so similar like we've discussed in this video. But again, I try my best to try and differentiate them and put them in their different categories. But the Ultimate Edition 13 Hulk Hogan is so good. And when you repaint it, it's still so good. That's why you have three up there. But they are all different. They are all different. But they're so very good. And that three-pack is just money. I like this. I like this ranking right here. I know a lot of people probably have more go-bites up there. You might get take... You know, it's difficult because some of these figures are so good that you should have them, but I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? Again, moment in time matters to me, I think. So it's just difficult. I don't know. I would love to know what you think, though. What do you think down in the comment section below about all these Hulk Hogan figures? I, again, I'm trying to look at it from a, like, obviously, do you need all those figures up and go buy it? No, but they're that damn good. 
But then again, you have some here in the good figure that I think are that damn good. But then I look at it like, do you need Desert Storm Hogan? Like, is it that? It is very good. I do like that figure a lot. I don't know, man. It's difficult. It's a difficult thing. You can, you know, go make your own damn Hulk Hogan rating. Or rank them down in the comment section below if you want to. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this video of our Hulk Hogan WWE Elite and Ultimate Action Figure Ranking. Always enjoy the ranking videos, man. I These are some of my favorite videos that we make on the channel. So leave a like on the video if you will. I greatly appreciate it. But I think that is going to wrap the video, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I really appreciate it. God bless everybody, man. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>